So this is my model on global warming. So the ice represents the water in the North and South Pole, so like the glaciers and the ice caps. And this represents the coastal areas um, with some low-lying areas and some high-lying areas. Um, at the moment, the water, this ice is frozen, which means that the coastal area is not um, flooded. But I'm going to show you how the heat over time will melt the ice caps and flood the coastal areas. Scientists believe that for all the ice caps to melt, it would take 5,000 years, but we don't have 5,000 years, so I'm going to use my trusty hairdryer and um, show you what it would look like, but a bit faster. <laughs> So as you can see, the ice um, hasn't even melted half of its size yet and already, like you can see, um, the land's being flooded with all this water. Now I hope that you can see the devastating effects that global warming can have on our community. So I'm off to have a nice cold drink.